Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Bitcoin's down just a tad, but I think overall things are still going pretty well. I wanted to break down this swing trade portfolio that I built up for myself over the last few days with some of you guys, and I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of an update on it. That way you guys know what I'm doing, what my plan is, and if you know we're making some money or not. Right now, the position is down about 90 bucks. It's not that bad, uh, just because we've only inserted a little bit of money in here because it was the first initial buy-in, and of course, Bitcoin and everything else still remains bearish on that daily chart and that weekly chart so you don't want to really go too crazy with those dollar cost averages at least at this point in time floki is down about 86 percent arbitrum is down 150 ethereum is down 150 hook is down 224 whiff is up around 166 and world token is up around 147 percent so kind of a mixed bag here but ultimately we are down and that's kind of the big thing here I will be adding more positions over the next few days. And for those of you guys who have been asking me, I saw some comments about this. You know, why am I doing dollar cost averaging uh, for maybe a couple months of holding with, you know, um, leverage positions because you do have those um, fees associated with it. Well, one of the things that I've been able to work out with JumpX is lower fees for you guys with the VIP3, which means you get a 15% discount on all the fees. And then on top of that, you also get a 10% cash rebate. So pay 15% less fees. 10% cash back given to you after the, the day of trading, basically, and you can put that back into your futures account, or you guys can just put it into a spot account. However, I'm basically saving a bunch of money doing that, so I'm not too concerned about the fees right now, especially because I think Bitcoin has an opportunity here to really pop off. Because right now, this is your Bitcoin daily chart. It looks okay. I mean, we've been going sideways, but we have the higher highs here, or excuse me, the higher lows, actually, and the higher highs here. And we're just looking for an opportunity to break out. But typically when we want to buy into Bitcoin, I think you guys know right now is that we're looking for the green MACD because once this thing kicks off, I mean, Bitcoin typically, typically starts to have a nice rally. You go back in time a little bit here. Right there. Nice little rally. And of course, back over here, it looks like right there. Another rally. That's all I'm waiting for right now, because if we get back here to a green MACD, which looks likely as well, you know, with all the stochastics, the stochastics already turned over, RSI could turn over any day now, still looking pretty good. If we get that, to me, that symbolizes that Bitcoin wants to take another pop up here and start breaking out back above $67,000, $68,000, and that green MACD here, just like it did back over here in October of 2023, a year ago, funny enough, that could be a big catalyst that gets us back up in here and running. I don't know if it'll happen this week as far as momentum shifting on the weekly chart. It could happen next week, but that's the sign I'm looking for. And because we haven't had, you know, we're not bullish on the daily chart, we're not bullish on the weekly chart. That's why I haven't really gone gung-ho into this just yet. I'm hoping, I'm watching, as well as I'm watching a bunch of altcoins make some moves today. Bitcoin's up around 0.42%, but you're seeing some tokens up 12%, 3%, 4%, you know, BNB's up 3%. You're seeing some moves. Now, not everything is green here today. There's kind of a mixed bag going around, to be honest, but I think... If you guys are trying to hop into some tokens, it still seems like the meme coins are the ones that are doing the best at this point in time. So my plan here is later on today when we stream, because I did fix my computer, it feels like, it feels like, what I'm going to do is uh, buy some more tokens for us, basically. You guys know there's a bunch to choose from. I think I'm just going to see where momentum is, and I think I'm going to be more bullish if the weekly charts on some of these altcoins are looking pretty good, right? If you want to follow some of my trading here, there's a JumpX link down below, but we're going to be looking at not just the larger caps. We're going to be looking at a lot of small caps here because, again, there's a lot of tokens, and I really want to take advantage of some of these low, low market cap tokens while they're on exchanges. You guys know me. I like to take a small amount of money and turn it to a large amount of money. Um, I find that to be much more interesting than turning a, a large amount of money into a large amount of money, if that makes sense. But yeah, so that's kind of the goal of what I'm thinking here today. Right now, as far as some of the short-term technicals, Bitcoin's doing okay. It's not my favorite position, but the one-hour chart's getting choppy. A choppy chart is fine by me. The four-hour chart is getting bearish right here, so I don't think we're done out of the woods just yet. But the more we go sideways here, if we don't break down below, let's say 59,800, that gives the daily chart a little bit more time to have a massive surge. And it will look kind of inorganic. And most likely what will happen is we'll have one more pop, we'll drop, and then that'll create another trade um, 
trading opportunity for us to have a breakout. So it might not look too pretty. I'm not going gung ho if we have a move right here, unless the daily chart does have a MACD turnover, in which case, again, it doesn't always just blow up like this. We went up one day, down for a few days, then up. We took a few days to go up. We went up straight there. That was pretty nice. Um, but it doesn't always work like that. So I do want to make sure that no matter what my plan is for right now, if I am buying some up right now, if I'm waiting for a breakout, I'm still going to scale out some right here on a trade. That goes for meme coins, everything. If Bitcoin does make this rally back up here towards, let's say, 64, 65,000, I'm still selling. I'm not I'm not buying all the way in just yet. I really do want to see the weekly chart turn around. But as far as the daily chart is concerned, that's why I look to be buying more Bitcoin and Ethereum because that's more stable, easy for liquidity issues and things like that. So... I'll let you guys know more during tonight's stream, but I think I got my computer fixed up now. I just had to take off one monitor and we'll see how that works. But thanks guys for watching and I'll be making some more content for you guys later on this week. Thanks.